Good morning, friends. Welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy, here to uh, encourage you to live this day for the Lord, to serve the Lord where He calls you, where He's placed you, where He's guided your feet today. We are all servants of the Lord. Every one of us, if you're following Jesus, you are a servant of the Lord. Yesterday, we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, that at the very end of it, that that we can boast in nothing or no one or ourselves or anything we do. We can only boast in Christ. And this is a reminder from from the, the apostle to the preacher to, to the everyday person sitting in the church rows. And in chapters 2 and 3 that we read today, we get a little bit more of that from Paul, specifically in chapter 3, uh, verse 5, whenever he says, when he writes, After all, who is Apollos? Who is Paul? We are only God's servants through whom you believed the good news. Each of us did the work that the Lord gave us. They're not boasting. They're just telling. They're just sharing. They just have had, uh, God has lit up their hearts in such a way that they can't help but tell tell other people this good news. And while they're doing that, this is a beautiful analogy of, of planting and growing and watering, but all of the growing is God's work. So, I give an example. I can I could do a devo. I could I could do a sermon. I could have a conversation with you uh, uh, over coffee, and we can we can go over uh, the gospel. But um, I can plant seeds, but it's God who grows it. Another pastor can come in and water that seed, or a friend can water that seed. But it is God who causes it to grow. So one of the prayers that's consistent as we serve the Lord is, Father, I'm I'm throwing seeds. I'm watering every chance that I get. Lord, will you please cause this seed to grow in the heart of this person that they will either come to Christ or they will grow in their relationship with Christ. They will become more of a full surrender in their following of Jesus. And so all of this is serving the Lord and trusting him to do the work. He does the hard work of causing it to grow. We just spread seeds and and water. And so that's what we have to remember today. You're invited to be a servant. We are servants. And how awesome it is that you get to be a servant. In fact, in in verses, uh, chapter three, verses 12 to 15, um, is about the rewards on the day that Christ returns. See, my job, your job is to serve Jesus. I serve Jesus and I don't I don't get to determine how you should serve Jesus. You don't get to determine how I should serve Jesus and that's not something I need to worry about or evaluate. I I need to let Jesus do that. Uh and in that as 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 a believer, right? Uh it's not so this is like a testing of the fire. It's not the believer being tested by fire. It's it's the works of service performed by the believer being tested by fire. So we have to look at this and see, well, okay, the fires of hell. But if you're born again and you've got the Holy Spirit, you're not in danger of the fires of hell. What's happening is the worst that can happen is that the service that we give to Christ has been flawed and our materials are uh, covered with pride and selfish ambitions rather than being works of love and ambitions uh, for seeing people truly come to know Christ. And so really that that last verse there, verse 15, the, the um, if the works are burned up, the believer will suffer great loss. The builder will be saved. But like someone barely escaping through the wall of flames, our gracious God holds us in the palm of his hand. But don't you want to serve him in a way that you have rewards that don't burn up in the end? Rewards that are so clearly love and commitment and sacrifice. Say, Lord, I'm doing this for you and I trust you to make it grow. So my encouragement to you today through this passage is to be one who serves. Do you see yourself as a servant of Christ? Then find your place by his spirit's leading of where you should serve so that you can be building up those heavenly rewards so that you can be 
stacking up treasures in heaven uh, that will survive that testing. Have yourself a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. sent down from heaven as the power